Hello, my name is James Heidema. Here's a question for my son, who is also a fellow coach, trainer, and presenter. Go ahead, son. Hey, Dad, here's my question. As a professional salesperson in the business for a number of years, I received a phone call from a client asking to cancel their policy or program. How should I respond? That's a great question, Paul. I've been in that situation where I've sat down with a client, taken them through a process. They've agreed to move forward. They've purchased the product. Uh, only some weeks, months later, they call and say they want to cancel. Okay, so when faced with a situation, it is critical that you sit down with the individual. This is not something to be resolved by email, text, or uh, by voicemail. This is where you sit down with them, either on Zoom or in person, and uh, this is what you do. First and foremost, you have to understand why they want to cancel. So they may not initially tell you what that is, so you need to sort of uh, ask the five whys. The five whys is an easy technique to remember, which is, you know, why are you doing it? Why do you feel this way? Why is it important to you? What has happened? Okay, so those whys will help you dig deeper until you find out really what the issue is. Then you have to take them back to the process you took them through. Now, in my case, I use a gap analysis. So anytime I sit down with a, with any individual, is first I talk about where they are uh, when I'm talking about financial planning, where they are, what they've done so far, how they're feeling about it. And then I talk about, okay, here's the desired situation. This is what you'd like to have happen. The difference between the two of them, that's the gap. And so I make sure that when I take people through the process, that they understand why they're purchasing, that they're fulfilling a gap, and what that uh, fulfillment will look like over time. And so I need to take them back there. And then I have to help them understand that if they walk away from that, they're walking away from the desired situation. And so that they have an informed decision. Sometimes when people uh, cancel things or change their mind, they think they're making a serious decision. Or maybe they don't. Maybe they think that they're just avoiding a decision. And I want them to be aware that the decision they're making is, is important because when I make sales, it's based upon their needs, not based on my needs. I'm not, uh, certainly I want to earn an income, certainly I want to make sales, but my going in position is to make a difference, not to make a sale. So when I solidify a sale, I ask the customer at the end of the process, why are you doing this? Why are you moving forward this? What do you hope to achieve? What will the future look like? Uh, to uh, remind them, so if they ever get in a situation they think they need to cancel, they will remind themselves of why they made that decision. So it's really important that, as I say, get back in front of the customer, try to understand what they're thinking, and then take them back to the process, remind them of the decision they made and why they did it. I hope that helps.